Greetings YouTube, it is I, Rob Brindo, your healthy and hairy looking person who is going to do a review of um, a few of my own choice little items. Now, recent events have caused me to go a bit silly on eBay. And as you can see, if I move my head out of the way, that is my shelf of many cool things. Now, I can't have a complete one because I've got loads more other things, like for instance, I've got all my Ava figures, but that is the only spot I can actually put anything because the way that my flat is built, uh, I've got loads of PowerPoints down there and over on that side as well. Plus I've got things like um, the supports in the walls. So I'm at, it's actually very difficult to find anywhere to actually put anything. So for the time being, my Ava figures are going to have to stay boxed up. However, that lot hasn't. And I'm quite happy to admit that they are up and I'm, they're all in there. Now today, um, as I said, I went a bit silly on eBay and I've been buying Optimus Prime toys. I know it's sad, but, you know, there are, I know for a fact that there are people out there who do worse than me. I only bought two, um, which I'm going to do the uh, reviews and transform them, etc, etc. So, uh, I apologise that because there are going to be quite a few jump cuts onto this, um, because of the uh, nature of actually what I'm going to do. So, here's one coming up now. Okay, now I'm going to do this in the chronological order that I think that they turn up here, and I should point out as well that these are from these are basically from the Cybertronian form to the one we know to what happens later that I currently own so without further ado I'm going to show you all, the, all of them quickly and then we'll get started so this is the first one this is the War Within Prime and this is my newest one this is the Fall of Cybertron Prime and then, hang on, this is the really big one, this is the one we all know and love, and then finally, my other most recent one is the Beast Hunters one. Now, that is the order I plan on doing them in, so, two secs, without further ado, I'm going to really quickly go and explain each one. So. War Within was a co was a uh, comic about four years ago ish I think if I, my memory uh, was right, where it basically explained how this version of Prime became who he was. Uh, this is one one of the figures that my wife bought me before we got married, and it's one of the little diecast metal ones. Um, I'll show you. I'll explain the difference. Being uh, so, this one's uh, a mixture of metal and plastic, primarily all the red parts and. Um, the right, all the red parts and all the blue parts are all metal. However, all these um, joints are all actually made of plastic. Actually, the metal these are metal as well, um, except for I think the head. Yeah, the head and the legs basically are made of plastic. So, in order for me to do this properly, I'm going to have to do jump cuts. So, here's another one coming up. Right. That only took about a minute and a bit, but here he is in his transformed glory. Now as you can see, um, he's still in his primary sort of truck form. Uh, this one didn't actually come with the trailer, but in the actual comic itself, it does actually show you with one. Uh, it doesn't You only see it once as far as I'm aware. But I really like this one because it's... You know, I really like this one because it's just so well drawn and actually designed when you see it like for instance you've got all the cab uh, everything all fits in properly that's where the matrix goes where is it there when um, when he has it before he goes into the new form that we know of uh, the gun sits in the back quite nicely I'm assuming that was if I take this off damn it it's not falling off um, I don't think they ever actually did a um, version with the cab but the um, trailer I'm sorry but don't quote me on that one, but if they did, I'm assuming there will be a point somewhere here that you could actually fit it on. Unless it fits in where the gun fits in, because that's just got like a little slot on the back. So that actually goes, hang on, hang on. it goes like that. 
Oh, sorry. So you can actually drive along, etc., etc., and destroy things on the way. So that's prime number one. Prime number two is, like I said, my most recent one. This is the Fall of Cybertron Prime, which I got in the post on Friday, Saturday. Yes, uh, yeah, Saturday. So all of him is completely made of plastic. Uh, I've had a few people say that it's really, really cheap plastic and he looks really, really poor quality. But, okay, I'll be the first to admit he's not the greatest looking one. But I actually got it because I think his his transform mode actually looks better than his robot mode. So, jump cut up again. Righto, here he is transformed into his second Cybertronian form. This one I actually prefer it um, as his robot as a, as a vehicle mode like I said it is all it's actually very easy to transform it took me a I had to try and remind myself how to do it again because I've only done it once um but yeah the whole thing's made of plastic it is a bit flimsy okay I'll give it that but the general gist of it is it looks quite cool when he's all transformed I mean the gun sits on the, on the uh, base of his foot either, either one of his feet um I can't see how they would have a cab on this one so I'm assuming that he never did um I'm assuming as well that would be there where the matrix would go compared to his previous form, which as you can put the two together, actually, uh, as you can see, this one is actually much smaller and less detailed than this one. Um, so that's that one. Um, again, I do quite like this one. It's there is another one apparent that I haven't got, which I'm not going to buy because I can't afford to at the moment. Um, uh, it's, this one is War of Cybertron. This the other one is no, I tell you, this is Full of Cybertron Prime. There's a previous one called War of Cybertron Prime, which apparently is much bigger. So it's actually about the same size, I'm guessing, as the uh, War Within Prime. And um, he uh, comes with he's not so much truck like. Um, he looks more like a race car sort of idea. But again, I haven't seen this one. Okay, the next one, God forbid, is the big bot. Now, I should point out I've only transformed this guy once, and uh, it wasn't easy. Let me put it to you this way: I'm gonna go and get the instructions for this so you can have a look. And uh, well, actually, no, I won't because there are plenty of reviews on this. On that uh, on YouTube, so I'm running two computers at once at once. Um, there are two. There's loads of videos of how to transform, etc. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do it. And uh, let's put it this way: it's now 25 past four in the afternoon. So we'll see how long this one takes. Actually, before I transform this, I've just had a think about this. I'm gonna quickly show you how detailed this version of Prime is. Now, bear in mind, this one is the most expensive transformer I've ever bought. This cost me 75 quid off eBay, and this one does come with a cab. But I didn't. Damn it! A um, truck, cab. What is it called? A thing. Um, but I didn't get that one because that one was over 200 pound, and truth be told, I don't really need it. I'm more interested in this one now. This one, as you can see is extreme the whole thing is made of no tell a lie um nearly all of it is made of like really very durable plastic i mean for instance if i can take out the guns i mean they're very well detailed as well and this is obviously this is megatron i do have the rest of it it's just i just took it off because it's just getting away. but for instance on the hands all the digits are all independent rather than sort of being you know one part moves the whole thing each one is independent he comes with his own sort of little bits and bobs so if I can get this open so he's got like a little um, recorder there to Megatron he's got another one on this side to Grimlock as you can see and he's got various different buttons on there uh, this one actually opens up to reveal the the matrix which is here and I have put batteries in the back so you press on that and actually I'll give you a quick show what it looks like because I haven't looked at it properly yet in ages so the matrix does light up which is rather cool 
and on the back of his head, uh, hang on, there's a button on here that makes his mouth move. So you can make him talk if you want. And uh, he is just so well detailed. I don't think I've ever seen a, to a toy or figure or anything like this as detailed. I mean, just the little parts like from the vents on his legs, you know, they move down. And then every time you put it down a step, it, it actually moves. Um, and so, yeah, whatever. Um, it actually weighs quite a lot. It's very heavy to hold one-handed for a while. Um, you know, the head does a complete 360. I actually really like the actuators on the arms because they actually do work properly, as if it was on a proper machine. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to have a go at transforming Optimus Prime. So it's now 28 minutes past. So if we call it half past, we'll see how long it takes. OK, back in a minute. OK, so 20 minutes has passed. And here is the transformed version of Big Bot Prime. Um, right, so a couple of little things. First that I had trouble with were, first of all, the feet. Um, the actual feet themselves are on two separate pieces. So, for instance, if I can pull it, pull it down, which is a no, um, hang on. there's a piece here that can, is effectively the heel which connects round here. Now, this part is supposed moves out, I should do the other side. That part moves out and then this swaps round and then connects in. Um, that one had gotten stuck, um, but that was, I had to get a screwdriver to poke it apart but that was fine, I pulled off one of his feet at one point. Um, this leg, in order to make the legs go into the, well, back into themselves, you have to press on these two. Now, these do work perfectly. These work, except for one of them, you have to kind of, I think it's this one. Um, it just wasn't playing ball. And the first time I transformed him, I had the same issue, but I managed to get around it. And then the last issue I had is one of, this, uh, as you probably can see, that's it. that cab um, window doesn't line up 100%. So it seals, but it doesn't seal it in one standard piece. Now, to me, I'm happy with that. Um, but this is, compared to the original Prime, it's just the sheer number of parts that require to actually make this version of Prime move around, actually transform from robot to, to um, ro uh, vehicle mode. I can't speak today for some reason. Um, alert, but as I said, this is the port for the actual um, the cab <sighs> trailer. We'll get it right in a minute. Uh, sorry, like I said, I'm running two computers at once at the moment. So this is the final version. He does come with the weapons as I pointed out. He does actually come with an Energon blade. Uh, if ever you watched the original series you'll know that his hand retracted and um, he had like a an orange axe that would come out the end of it. I do have that but it's in the box up there. I only kept out the weapons for that reason. So this one like I said I knew this was going to take a while to do but the sheer you know the amount like I said the amount of parts that are required to change the this prime for instance, um, the old one was literally a case of pulled the legs down, undid the feet, pulled the arms out, folded them down, flipped the hair out, and that was pretty much it. You could do it in maybe 10 seconds. This one, because of the amount of parts that are required, I mean, I'll show you the instructions quick. That is how many, that's the problem I had with the feet. So this bit here trying to unlock it to do that. That was the first part. And then after that, it goes on to all this. And it does take a chunk of time. I mean, this is apparently for f yeah, five plus. Um, there's a part on here. It says where the, what level is required. And I personally would put this down. Yeah, reverse order of instructions to convert back. No shit. Um, I would actually go as far to say that's kind of not an intermediate level but yeah, advanced level for transforming them. So let's put him back and then go on to the final one, which is this one. This is the Beast Mask Beast Hunters, which I recently got. And 
one, this one won't take long, I know for a fact it doesn't because I can do this very quickly. So, jump cut, there we go, that's the final transformation, uh, this is the Beast Hunter's version, he doesn't have the trailer that goes with it because his whole body is basically one giant cab. Uh, this one's actually very easy to do, out of all of them I'd say the previous Big Bot Prime is the hardest one to transform because of the sheer amount of parts as I said that are required to actually make him transform. This one however, I can do within about a minute at best, you know. Uh, the whole thing is made out of plastic, but much durable plastic, whereas this one, the full Cybertron one, actually feels a bit sort of cheap, but, um, now I like this one, you know, it's, I wasn't going to buy it originally, and then um, the one the ones I really wanted, which was the full Cybertron one, I just kept losing on the actual, um, on the actual bids on eBay when I bought them. And uh, in the end, I just thought, you know, I'm going to buy one, so I may as well buy one of the new ones, and this is the one I bought. And as you can see, very simple. He's got a kind of um, army sort of look. If I haven't seen the full series yet, but I have a feeling that's what happens. Uh, he get, I know he gets very badly damaged, and um, he ends up having to take on the new form, and I think that's the one he picks. So... To show you properly what they all look like together, it looks like. Hang on, let's pull it up. There. there you go, that's all of them put together. And then I'm going to have to spend the next 25 minutes putting them all back to the way I had them. And this I, because as you can see on my shelf, I don't have much space to put all my awesome stuff so I'm going to do that um, but as so I said so my, my actual favourites go in this order basically so you got Big Bot Prime always comes in first followed by War Within Prime because both of those are metal and then it goes this is where it gets, I'm not 100% sure yet. Either one of these, I'm probably going to go with that one third and then that one fourth. For the reason being that these two are both plastic and this one and Big Bot are metal. But out of the two plastic ones, I'd still say uh, the Beast Hunters one is going to go slightly further ahead. A, because of size, and B, because of the quality of the, the uh, materials used to actually make it. So that one's going to be like that, but Big Bot Prime is always going to be my base, my favourite one. And then, uh, yeah, so that was that. So if you have a spare, oh, hang on. Uh, for the prices I bought them, if you've got a spare 130 quid that you want to spend on some Transformers, then I thoroughly recommend you go and buy these four. If not, then go and buy an Xbox or something and just play the game, which I haven't played. And actually, no, I tell you. I played um, the original Transformers one on my DS and it was shit. It really, really was. But I'm told that Full of Cybertron and War of Cybertron are actually very good. So I might give them a, one, a uh, once over one day. But today's not that day and tomorrow's not looking like it either because I'm currently piss poor because I've been spending it all on Transformers toys. So, um, that would be that really. So hopefully you're going to have a good day. Uh, for the rest, or a good week, whatever else you're doing, and I'm going to do this, and I'm going to have some dinner. So, signing off, and I will see you next time. Bye.